everyone, it's Miss Mems and it's time for some games, some singing and a story. Today, we're going to be guessing the parts of a leaf. Did you know that a simple leaf has got different parts? Now, same like last week, if you already know it, just shout it out. If you don't, you're gonna learn it today. So let's look at the parts of a leaf. And remember, we're going to be guessing the parts that are colored green. What part is colored green? That is called the blade, the blade. Now, you see that little green bit over there? It's called the stipule, the stipule. Ooh, this bit here, that little green bit, can you see it? It's called the petiole, petiole. How about this bit on this end? Do you know what it's called? It's called the apex. That's the apex. How about this green bit that goes all along? Can you guess what it's called? It's called the veins. So now you've learned all the parts of a leaf. All right, it's time for our positive affirmation. L, I'm gonna choose three like I did before and you have to pick one. Now let's see which positive affirmation we're going to choose today. Which would that you pick? One. The middle one, all right. Now, our positive affirmation card says, my mind is clear and light. My mind is clear and light. Do you know what that means for your mind to be clear and light? Ask your parents. Like last week, we've got our map and we've also got our globe. Remember what I said last week, the globe and the map are pretty much the same. The things that you find on the globe, you also find on a map, just that a globe is round and the map is flat. Let's invite someone to come and talk to us about our world. This is our world. The blue bit is the water and the other bit is the land where people live. The world is broken into continents and different people live on each continent. You will need to get a long aeroplane ride to get to a different continent. I've been on one. Each continent has a name. North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia and Antarctica. Today we are going to stop over in South America and see what we can see. In South America, there is a country called Chile. Some people like to eat empanadas and Chilean hot dogs. Some like to wear clothes similar to what we wear. Most people speak Spanish. They are lovely, friendly people. I've got some homework for you. Have a look at another country in South America with your parents and see what you can find out about the people, what they eat, speak and wear. I'm going to do with Lola. Bye. All right, it's time for some singing. Before Miss Mem starts to sing, me and Lola would like to say something. Please subscribe to our channel, like, press the notification bell to get notified on every video we upload and also check out all our videos by clicking on the playlist. Thank you! Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now this time when I sing fall, I want you to fall down on the floor, okay? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she called for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat and he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head. He said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed. He wrote on a paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning, yes I will, will, will. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she called for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat and he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head. He said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed. 
He wrote on a paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning. Yes, I will, will, will. All right, it's time for a story. Shy Piggy was still a bit shy, but the best part of it was she wasn't shy around her new friends. She had made new friends with Doggy, Cow and Unicorn. They always hung out together. They went on walks together and they spent time either in Unicorn's house or in Piggy's house or in Cow's house, or in Doggy's house. But they were always together. The only issue was that Piggy loved spending time in people's houses and she never wanted to go anywhere else. So Unicorn would ask her, let's go to the park. And Piggy would say, no, I just want to go to your house. And oh, Doggy okay. would ask her, let's go to the zoo. And Piggy would say, no, no, can we just go to your house? And Cow would ask her, let's go to the cinema. And she would say, no, no, can we just go to your house? <sighs> now, secretly, Doggy, Cow and Unicorn were a bit frustrated with all of this. She doesn't want to go anywhere. I try taking her to the shops. No, she just likes to spend time in our house. And Cow said, I know, me too, me too. I said to her, come on, let's go to the cinema. And she always says, no, she just wants to spend time in my house. <laughs> and Doggy said, I know, I've tried so hard to get her to go to the beach, but she just says no. <sighs> Whatever can we do? I just came up with the best idea. What is it? What is it? Tell us, tell us. Well, I thought maybe we could trick her. Maybe... Oh, this is the best plan ever. Maybe we could pretend like we're going to your house, Unicorn, and then we'll take her to the beach. Oh dear, what do you think about that idea, Cow? Oh, oh, I think it's a brilliant idea. I think it's a brilliant idea. I love it. I love it. Hmm, I don't know about that. I don't think it's a very good idea. Why not? Why not, Unicorn? Because it's not nice to trick people. We have to be honest all the time. I think it's a good idea and I'm gonna get Piggy right now. So off Doggy went to Piggy's house. Hey, Piggy. Hello, Doggy. How are you? I'm good. Um, would you like to come to Unicorn's house? Of course. Let me just tell Mum where I'm going. I'll be right back. Oh, well, I forgot that she'd have to tell her Mum to find her in Unicorn's house. Oh dear, I hope this plan works out. All right, let's go. All right. Doggy, this doesn't seem like the way to Unicorn's house. Just follow me, it's a shortcut. But this is not the way to Unicorn's house. We never go this way to Unicorn's house. Piggy, just relax, it's a shortcut. But Unicorn's house is that way. How come we're going this way? Hey, it's that way. This is just making me so anxious. Piggy? Yes? I said, follow me. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Okay, I trust you. Doggy kept thinking to himself, I don't know if this is a good idea. She trusts me. What if I break her trust? But I'm sure she'll love it when we get there. Doggy, 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 do you know what? Let Close your eyes, close your eyes. Why? Because it's a surprise, Unicorn has a surprise for you. Close your eyes. So Doggy closed Piggy's eyes as they walked all the way to the beach. Now when they got to the beach, Cow and Unicorn were there waiting. All right, Piggy, we're there. The beach was full of people. No, no, it's too much. I can't, I can't do this. There's just too many people. Ah! And Piggy ran all the way home. I told you this was a bad idea. I told you, but you didn't listen. Don't worry, I'll go after her. Now, when Doggy got to Piggy's house, he knocked on the door, dun, 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 but there was no answer. He tried again, dun, dun, dun. Piggy, open the door, it's me, Doggy. Go away, Doggy, go away. <laughs> oh no, I made her upset. I shouldn't have done it, I should have listened to Unicorn. He knocked again, dun, 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 dun. Doggy, go away, please, go away. <laughs> Doggy started getting upset as well. <laughs> And then Unicorn came. Let me try. Dun, 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 dun. 
It's me, unicorn. Open the door. Come in, you cool. Doggy, you stay out. Piggy, I know you're upset, but can you understand why Doggy did it? No, I can never understand. I almost had a panic attack. I know. I know it was a very bad idea, but I understand where a doggy was coming from. Now, you see, sometimes we want to go other places with you. But why can't we just go to your houses? Because, Piggy, when we go to the cinema, it's a different experience from our house. And when we go to the park, it's different. And when we go to the beach, it's different. And we want to share all these experiences with you. But why can't you just go without me? Sometimes we do things without you, Piggy, and we always think, oh, it would be so lovely if Piggy was here. And then you're not there. We love sharing experiences with you, Piggy, but we can't because you get so shy and so anxious. We don't know how to help you, Piggy, but the truth is every time when we go to special places, we wish that you're with us. Oh, oh, really? Yes. The last time when we went to the cinema to watch a movie, we were sitting together and we even kept a space for you just in case you would turn up, but you didn't. Really? Yes, Piggy, we miss you when you're not with us. Oh, 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 what, what can I do? I don't know. I think taking you to the beach was wrong because the beach has too many people. But can we start by taking you somewhere that's very quiet? Maybe start with baby steps. We start with somewhere quiet and then we go to somewhere with a few more people and a few more people. Okay, I can try that. So we'll give you some time and then maybe we can go somewhere together later. I'll try my best. I didn't know that that was why Doggy did it. Yes. It's because Doggy and all of us, we all love you so much. Oh, Doggy, you can come in now. I'm so sorry for what I did. I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. I understand why you did it. But please don't do it again. Unicorns just explained everything to me and I think I understand. And while they were talking, Cow came running in. decided the next day to go to the cinema. The end. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!